G'day everyone, Aussie Mark here. Just doing a quick update vid on uh, contents of my Maxpedition EDC Mini Pocket Organizer. Uh, I've done a full uh, video on this some months back, but I've made a few changes and I thought um, just do a very quick update. So if you want to see full detail of um, the bits I skip over in this video, by all means go and search out the video, but we're just going to rip through this pretty quick. So this is it of course, so it's in the black. Um, in the pocket I've still got a bit of uh, race tape on a little plastic card on the back. Got an espina and basically that's the outside so we'll delve straight on in and see what's what's in here okay so as you can see got a fair bit of gear on board got a um, streamlight stylus pro that's a two triple a flashlight in that side accompanying that two spare triple a batteries got a mini disposable lighter i used to have a full size but with the changes i needed to scale down a bit so we went to the mini one and of course uh, pen. This is basically an all-purpose type of marker, an anything type pen, permanent marker. I've changed the compass setup from what I had before. I've now got a, a little wrist turtle compass, liquid filled compass on a, well it's a lanyard, paracord, hang it around your neck, ready to go type of thing. In the back here I've still got the little mini first aid kit. So see the other video for all the contents of that but it's pretty much a self-contained little kit. On the other side, emergency whistle. I've upgraded the knife. I'm now carrying this one, which is a K-Bar Mini Dozer Folding Hunter. Just think it's a bit strong. It gives me a little bit more capability in an emergency situation. Also, I like the colour. If you're in a, you know, an emergency something, you drop it. It's easy to find. Got a uh, SOG combination tool here. It's got a sharpener, a um, bit of porcelain there for sharpening your knives and also a little uh, striker there for flame. It's not a bad little sharpening device, not the greatest, but it'll, it'll do in a pinch. Got that on a bit of uh, hollowed out paracord and also a can opener. You might get hungry. One thing I did add, I had a lot of trouble sourcing one, was a pry bar. Don't want to go use my knife for a pry bar. I picked this up at a hardware store here in Australia, Bunnings I think it was. It was a nail puller. It had a section on this end which kind of stuck up like that, which I hacksawed off and basically ground that down to a bit of a point. So if I am in an emergency situation, need to pry something out or, or anything like that, I've got an actual tool for the job and it didn't cost all that much. Still got the two metres of power cord in. Up the top here, just wrapped around that little loop, is a light my fire. It's a Scout model fire steel, again, another fire lighting capability, I think that's very important. In the back pocket, notebook, just when everyone carries a notebook. A little bit of money, never know. And a sewing kit. Now this is the uh, done on the patented Crockett 20 pattern. And he's got a video on it over at his channel, well, well worthwhile. And that's basically emptied out. So that's the contents, there's a, a fair bit in there, it's actually amazing what you can carry in, uh, in this little bag. My philosophy on this is it's for anything from just day to day convenience, um, which is, you know, say sewing, um, having a pen, having a torch, whatever, right through to, um, you know, the, an emergency situation where this might be the only bag I can, I can pick up and run with in a, in a hurry. It'll give me some capability. So that's my contents. Um, hopefully uh, that's been of some interest. I know these EDC update videos can be a bit, a bit dull, so that's why I rush through it. Uh, I'm interested to hear your ideas and um, what you carry in yours. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, guys. Bye.